we are Meth and Angie, a queer couple wandering around Italy. In the last vlog, we visited all the highlights of Padua on a budget, saving up to 28 euros. Today, instead, it's our last day in Veneto, and we couldn't miss Venice, the floating city. We arrived by car. It was a cool experience to drive up to Venice. And we left our car at Tronchetto Parking, which, even though it may seem crazy, for 22 euros a day, it's the cheapest parking spot to be so near to the city center. Such a bargain in Venice. From here to our first stop, it's a 30 minute walk and that time flew by as we were crossing picturesque canali, seeing few gondola in action and making our way through narrow alleys. We are about to cross Ponte di Rialto. It is a great work of architecture and engineering, built over 6,000 wood poles. It's 48 meters long and 22 meters wide. The original bridge was built in the Middle Age in wood. The bridge you see right now is in stone and was built at the end of the 16th century. From it, you can have a great view of Canal Grande. Venice is one of the most famous cities in the entire world. Let's explore properly its canali through some fun facts. Venice is made up of 118 islands and there are over 400 bridges. There are no roads, but instead there are up to 150 canali in the city. And that's also why there are no cars, but many motorboats. The word ciao originated here in Venice and its original meaning was I'm your slave. The Grand Canal which is the main one, it's two and a half miles long. Venice is sinking, so if you want to visit it one day, do it soon if you can. We are in Piazza San Marco. Behind me there is the clock tower. It has the zodiac sign all around the clock. Basilica di San Marco and on its top you can see the golden lion, the sign of the city. To enter it you have to pay 3 euro for the ticket but you have to do a long line or you can skip the line paying 6 euros. To see the wall church you have to pay 12 euros but before entering you have to be sure to have your shoulder and your knees covered. Behind me, instead, there is Palazzo Ducale, which used to be the Doge's house. It's kind of a contradictory building. In its rooms, indeed, kings, queens, and other important people from all over the world were hosted. But it was also the place where justice was dispensed. Indeed, its jails and its tortured rooms were feared by many. From its famous Piombi di Venezia, only one person managed to escape. Its name was Giacomo Casanova. But the crazy thing is that you have to pay 25 euros each to enter in Palazzo Ducale. We are on Riva degli Schiavoni. From here you can see Giudecca Island, which is San Giorgio Church. We are about to cross Ponte della Paglia. From here you can see Palazzo dei Sospiri, which translates to Bridge of Sykes. Its function was to link the proper jails to Palazzo Ducale. Therefore, that bridge was crossed by the detainees pending a sentence. Those people watching out of the tiny little windows were facing the sea and the freedom that they were probably gonna lose soon.
For lunch in Venice, we didn't have much of a choice. So we went for the only vegan restaurant, the Wall Venezia, which is kind of crazy, but we are up to try their cuisine. Let's try the spritz. Okay, it's not a proper spritz. It's really, really bitter. It's good, but it's not a spritz. They said it's bio, it's organic. I actually like it. It's really good. This is bigoli pasta, which is a typical first dish in Venice. The taste is really sea flavor. It's really, really good. I like it. This instead are black and white ravioli, which is a fresh made pasta with porcini mushrooms and seitan inside and a cashew sauce. I'm curious to try it really really good the sauce it's so tasty but still don't overcome the flavor of it, the inside of the ravioli it's actually really good and as a dessert we have the classic tiramisu mm, it's really really good the cream it's really really tasty i like it it's kind of a bread in, on the top it's not like a biscuit or something i like it how was lunch really great it was really nice yeah. i would say yeah i really appreciate the pasta and also the ravioli yeah the dessert was nothing special but average i would average, say yeah. yeah we spent a total of 43 euros which is Okay, for Venice, I would yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. And now we have to move to our next region. Yep, actually, yes. <laughs> and you can guess in the comments what's the region. Yes. <laughs> so, seekers, see you in another vlog. Bye. Bye-bye.